Okay, hello and welcome again. So, so big changes done here, bunch of new little bits and bobs, but pretty much we have our little room here that you would start off in. So you've got the player there, some really bright lights, and this will display the different zones. So for instance, this will be tutorial zone A, B and C. So we're going to have that one as tutorial zone A, and then we would have tutorial zone B. So you remember this room has been stretched a bit now though. Um, some lighting and everything's going to be thrown in, but this is just sort of test level anyways. And then we would have tutorial zone C. So when you would pass through all the tutorial zones, then it'd put you inside the main level. So I'll just quickly speed up. So this was bigger, I stuffed up a few times, um, but that's okay. Uh, we have the new models for the light post here. So they will all be getting lit up and they will look real pretty once they're all textured and relit up. So they are textured in game, just not in this. Um, one other thing I wanted to show we also now have some audio for this. So we have the Amplify Normal Villain Pixie, so that's just tutorial intro. And then we have Amplify Normal Villain Pixie Tutorial Zone A. So <clears throat> that'd be when you go inside of here. So if I just go through, um, so I'll just show you quickly, there has been some changes to this. So we've created sort of a overlap of sorts, I guess you could say. Um, when you spawn at the location, it will spawn the sound at the location. So this sound will only play the first run through. Now I'll just quickly comment that, so FPS mapping we will call that um, so pretty much when the level starts it begins a camera fade collects the camera manager and it will spawn the sound at the location it has a 20 second delay before it just auto stops um, so I can delete this play sound because that one doesn't matter um, but pretty much when you go through the trigger box, it begins another camera fade, gets the player character and teleports them to an area and it will stop the audio of this one either way and then it will begin playing the next sound. So I'll just show a quick example. I'll go over into the maps just so you can have a look at what has been done. Um, so with our main menu world, this is all it is. Creates the main menu widget, adds it to viewport, sets the input game mode only, shows mouse cursor and gets the player controller. Um, so if I hit play and go into there, you will see as it loads up. So we have Continue, new game, about, controls, options, quick game, achievements. So achievements, we've just sort of put welcome to the game because like, you know, welcome to the game. That's starting off. Um, we have about, so this will be getting edited as we have scripted on more people onto the team. Um, and then we have our controls. So all of these buttons and stuff, they do work which is good, so I'll just show, so controls, about, main menu, so they're all working, but if we click continue, Welcome to the game, right now this current level will play as a tutorial level, so please feel free to take one of the doors currently in front of you. If you seem to get confused throughout, so you are made it through to the first tutorial zone, keep an eye out to learn some of the basics. Feel free to check out the surroundings. So it just looks nice and peaceful. Um, 
there's also a invisible border as you would have seen briefly there were the blocks here so if I keep going through it just stops me so you can't get off the map and you can't see everything else that's through it because you can go through these trees but that's about it um, still got your flashlight so you can still play around with that still can jump you can still crouch as well so that's about it with that little bit um, but if I go back into the first person map so once it all sort of loads it seems to be a little frozen but this is where I was editing the audio so I was just using WavePad by NCH software um, so I can close that off uh, let's open this first person map so you would notice that there was that bit of delay before as well that wasn't there so with these three I'll just drag them back I'll add in a so it'll be a six second delay feel like that feels appropriate so I'll just drag them over drag that make it a six second delay compile save so now when we load into the first person map it should be a lot nicer Welcome to the game. So let's quickly go into the main menu world just to double check that all worked good because we want to make sure it is working well. Which I'll just let it load up and then go continue because it has a bit of a delay. So the one time it doesn't have a delay. Welcome to the game. Right now, this current level will play as a tutorial level, so please feel free to take one of the dollars currently in front of you. If you seem to get confused throughout the game, feel free to go back and look at your current instructions. That so, one other thing I did notice then, just with the level blueprint, so... I'll open this up, we will check what was this one, wasn't it? Welcome to the game. Run. So that goes for 22 seconds, which means we just need to open the level blueprint, go over here and make that 23 seconds. So now, when we play, it should play the full audio. So I'll just double check that, make sure it's all good. So. It does make it feel that little bit more interactive too, just showing this little bit. Okay, so we've got our delay. Welcome to the game. Right now, this current level will play as a tutorial level, so please feel free to take one of the dollars currently in front of you. If you seem to get confused throughout the game, feel free to go back and look at your current instructions and in the controls options. Okay, now we'll go through. So I want to set up sort of a border that just fades as well. So you are made it through to the first tutorial zone. Keep an eye out to learn some of the basics and feel free to check out the surroundings. So nice pretty surroundings, we've got the light shining through and then this is going to react sort of like a temple so I'll just show you the stairs this makes it a little bit easier to see um, once the lighting and everything's set up in here we'll set up a big world thing <coughs> make it crazy let's do a jump crouch um, there's also these little bricks here that you can just whatever 
So you probably notice now the tutorial zone's getting set up. There's no gun in this area, so I will need to fix that issue up there. So of course there's like little bits involved. It seems like you can go through these bricks, which I also will set them so that you actually can jump on them or whatever. And you've got these little faint steps. You just bump, bump. So I will be setting up so that it just sort of blocks you out. But for now, it's just one big giant temple. It closes off, so if you do run to the end, you will fall off, which I will show. So just. So it's got some very basic UI still, I'm trying to keep it extremely minimalistic. Because the more minimal, the better. Um, so I'll just show you if I jump off this. You can see the other zones are there, and you'll just keep falling. So that is pretty much it with all of that for now. But there will be more content coming up very shortly.